Cigna has both a medical necessity guideline and an operational guideline. Every single payer has both. What this means is they define medical necessity differently. There's a general blanketed approach, oftentimes utilizing ASAM as a guideline um, overall, but not every insurance utilizes ASAM. It's very important to know. But if your staff are highly trained on ASAM criteria, and your clinical staff is able to interpret those six dimensions into their clinical documentation, you have much more success. In addition, there are operational guidelines prepared. So just like I said, so you may have had three days for a master treatment plan by one payer, another payer can be 24 hours, another payer will require, for instance, there are two payers right now, Cigna and um, I wanna say Aetna, who are requiring a pre-admission assessment done face-to-face -face by a licensed professional this means a, a licensed clinical social worker, licensed mental health therapist, licensed psychologist, licensed marriage and family, prior to bringing the client into treatment. How many people are really doing that? A client comes in, they're dope sick, you wanna get them through admissions, and you're trying to get them the help that they need. Insurance has slowed that process down. You need to be able to justify that this person is a right fit, not just for treatment, but for your treatment. Long are the days where we can say we're heavy 12-step based. I'm a huge supporter of 12-step in the rooms. I, I go to open meetings all the time myself. I encourage the clients to get a sponsor quickly. That no longer is a justification for payment and treatment. What evidence-based practices are you utilizing that are going to attach to the actual diagnosis and history for that particular client and able to treat them? And you have to prove that. 